be fun. I like working with Tigers now. So get out there and see what happens on that. Yeah. Hey guys. Good morning. Good to nice see to you see again. <laughs> Thank you guys yeah. for coming out. No problem, glad to do it. I've been to the wild animal sanctuary before. I worked on a, a tiger named Cucho. Wow, holy cow. That's a huge nail. <clears throat> that has to feel better. I'm back this time to neutering. Uh, it'll be the first time I ever neutered a tiger. Hopefully it won't be my last. Now that he has the opportunity to possibly find a friend for life, um, he needs to be neutered because we don't breed here. One of the reasons why we didn't do it the first time is, is we never actually thought we would find a female for him. But when Simba came in, she would watch him from afar. Um, she was a couple pins over from him, and we would notice she'd just be staring at him. And we say that she thought his long, lustrous locks, you know, because he's got the big ruff, was uh -oh. quite handsome. And Same way Petra was with me. <laughs> sure, I get it. Love at first sight. Exactly, for her, for sure. <laughs> All right. We're a large sanctuary, um, 720 acres, that works exclusively to rescue and rehabilitate um, large exotics. We currently have about 500 animals. They come from different situations like zoos, circuses, and then private ownership. Some of those conditions can be horrific. This is kind of their last stop, and uh, they get to live out some really nice, normal, healthy lives here. I just think that it's going to be an amazing thing and such a, a beautiful thing to see Kucho and Simba find the companionship that they've never had before. Never knew a tiger or a lion before, so uh, it'll be interesting. They're just a big cat, so it's just everyone's going to be a lot bigger. No pressure. He <laughs> looks big. You look him? Yeah. God, look at the size of the paws. It's amazing. Which way are we going? Do you want me to start shaving? Yeah, no, shave gently. His heart sounds nice and regular. I'm going to make two slits in the middle of his testicle. Man, that's a little thick. That's really thick in there. He's got a lot of fat. But it's really tough. I mean, his skin's tough, and his scrotum is ridiculous. It takes me less than 30 seconds to do a tomcat. Comparing this cat to a house cat, there's no comparison. This is going to be, got to be one of the hardest things you've ever done, man. I really do need to concentrate on this for a minute. Why don't you put a pair of gloves on, Hector? If you hold this for me, it'd be a yeah. lot easier. You cannot believe how hard and fibrous this is. It's really tough. It's almost like you almost have to cut it, huh? Oh, you do cut it, yeah. OK, let me take this and okay. clamp this down. It's good. I feel like everything's tied off. That was definitely not an easy neuter. You look like you struggled a little bit. The longest cat neuter in the world. I could tell he was sweating. I actually, I think that's the first time that I ever had to glove him for a neuter for Jet. It was a lot harder than he thought. His nails really look good. We cut the fronts a minute ago. Hector's cutting the back ones now. I mean, they're not out there jumping on prey, <laughs> you know, wearing them, breaking them. I mean, they'll wear them down a little bit, but you know, you do have to worry about them getting too long. God, just look at the size of that, though. That's massive. Beautiful animal. I'm gonna give Kujo a protocol of antibiotics, make sure he heals properly and uh, gets better, so. Better safe than sorry. He's gonna go back out in the dirt. And... As you know, tigers are normally pretty solitary. Yeah. They they do like companionship a lot of times we find, and so really hoping that Simba um, brings some life to him. And you know, just like all of us, that companionship can really help bring life back. Quality yep. of life, not quantity. Quality, yeah. freedom, yeah. and that's a big part of what we do here is is giving them back everything that us as a human race has taken Take away. away. We appreciate you guys coming. We really do. All right, you guys. Well, he is done with his fluids, and he is ready to go back. All right, let's get him in the van. One, two, three. No, I, 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 no. Starting to wake up, Hector. Huh? Starting to wake up. Good thing you're at the front end. <laughs> yeah, the first thing they do is they scratch with their back feet. Good thing I gave him a nail trim. <laughs> <laughs> Air and breathing? Yeah. Um, in the shade all the way against the wall, you guys. Okay. Nice and gentle. Somebody get that bandage off, please. 
All right, you guys, Kucha says I'm looking my traps. Yeah. We better head out. Thank you guys very, very much. All right, handsome, we'll see you later. Kucho's neuter, being back in his pen. Uh, he's next to, her, to his girlfriend, and uh, in about 10 days, when he's all healed up, we'll end up introducing those two together, and hopefully everything goes, you know, like it should. Both Kucho and Simba are inside their smaller enclosures. So I'll just be inside the four-wheeler today to make sure that if something were to go wrong, that we can intervene for the safety of the animals. Ready? Let's go. Open the doors. Letting Simba out now. Simba! Go ahead and let Kucho out. Letting Kucho out now. And just hoping that everything goes as planned. Simba's down here laying down. She walked down the fence line a little bit. Kucho's up there, uh, still kind of checking things out. Typically, when we let any um, tigers out, regardless of whether they've been together or not, they want to still check the area and make sure that they feel secure, that there's nobody else out here hiding. All right, beauty girl. The body language that we look for is really similar, like even what you see with people, you know, their proximity to each other, how close and physical they get. She sees it. That's pretty much exactly what we want to see. They're both being pretty playful. The fact that they already seem at ease with each other and are playful is great. They're running around and their tails are high and you know, kind of jumping through the grass is such a sign of happiness and freedom. 